Chuck. Hey, hey Neil. It's that time. It is that time again. <laughs> do, do you enjoy these? I am I just lecturing to you? Do you? Would you rather just be on the beach or something? Well, like I just. Well, I, no, we could do this on the beach though no, if you want to do that. Okay, that's. I mean, don't don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm not going to say let's not go to the beach and do the explainers. Okay, we promise but, each other one day we will do an explainer on the well, beach. All right, beach explainers. I'm all about that. You know, <laughs> we're just chilling, and I'll comment on the waves or tides or whatever and other exactly. stuff. Exactly. Right. A lot of good stuff at the beach we could good. discuss, d talk about science wise. Beach, beach is good. Beach is good. But cool. that's not what this one is about. Oh, okay. This one is about just something that I think people don't think about much, or when they do, I don't think they have as full of thought as they can. Oh. So, so let's go back to when I was a kid. And when I was a kid, uh, by the way, I've been interested in the universe since I was nine. So I've been wondering about what people say about it, even in uh, off the cuff. Mm -hmm. So one of the things they and said- what, what made you interested in the universe at nine? Now that we're talking about this, I gotta know now. Oh, I, a visit to the, my local planetarium. My parents took me and my brother and sister. Super and cool. I grew up in the city where you can't see the night sky. Right. No one in the city has a relationship with the night sky. If you look uh, up, you, you know criminals. So, criminals do. <laughs> thank you. Criminals have a relationship no, no. with the they night have, sky. They have a relationship and, with with the night, but not right. With the night that's sky. what I'm saying. Well, no. If the night sky weren't weren't as dark as it is, like on a moonlit night, crime goes down. Uh, well, I'm saying. <laughs> it, now, why do you know so much about and? Because that's when you do your crime. <laughs> I was about to say, because that's when I became interested. <laughs> so, most of, <laughs> you know, we didn't do a background check on you before we hired you. <laughs> uh, so, so anyway, most sight lines, you know, hit a building and right. you have to like look really steep up. And even then, you know, especially when I grew up, there was air pollution much worse then than now, uh, light pollution worse then than now. Right. And so you just don't think about the night sky. And plus, even when it's dark out, the city lights up, right? So you're not okay. thinking day, night. But here's what people said. They said, days get longer in the summer. Right. I heard Oh, that. yeah, people still say that they all still say, the time. And I, and, wait, wait, so then I said to myself, well, how long is a day? Well, a day is 24 hours. So I looked at my watch and I said, okay, 24 hours goes by and now it's tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> it's summertime and somehow it, it wasn't a 25 hour day, all right? So as a young child, I couldn't parse what anybody meant when they said the days get longer because I was treating the word day as a literal 24 hour day. Gotcha. Okay. Little did I know, of course, they're referring to daylight. Mm -hmm. Daylight. Okay. Daylight. Right. Right. So, did, you, did get... you know that? I mean, I didn't. I mean, I had to figure that out. I'm sorry. Well, that's I was because slow. you would know. That's because you're thinking like a scientist, even at nine years old, because that that is a literal thinking. That right. is the literal Good thinking. Point. I was not thinking figuratively or. You were not thinking figuratively, you know, because most people think of the day as. Uh, a contention upon when you can get work done, and from an agrarian standpoint, that's daylight. That's the day. Okay. Right. Getting getting all historical on me. Yeah. <laughs> but, but but my brain was was so not wired that way at the time, and so right, I could have probably, with a, given enough time, figured it out. Um, you know, the day oh so day oh. <laughs> day, the day's over, right? So, right. <laughs> he's he's not saying it's midnight, <laughs> right? Right. right. <laughs> I mean, something. If that song was written about midnight, day, -o, day, -o. <laughs> daylight, come let me one go home. Okay. Yes. So, uh, wait, were they working all night? I uh, think they were working night at, at night. night. I don't so, know. Okay. I don't know when, but I mean, I don't know when you get bananas. I mean, that's. <laughs> Maybe that's a nighttime job, man. <laughs> the banana. Maybe part. maybe getting to, maybe getting bananas is a nighttime thing. Bananas hide during the day. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, why can't you pick? I, you know, I don't know why you can't pick bananas during the day. <laughs> so, so here it is. So people say days get uh, longer in the longer summer. Longer in summer. Okay. Shorter in the winter. Okay. So now that I knew what everybody was talking about, they're talking about the hours of daylight. Okay, 
right? I get that. Hours of daylight. Okay. So, what's the first day of summer? Um, I, I, June twenty something. I don't yeah, know. June June twentieth. June twentieth. It it, yeah. it it can vary. It can vary, right? Because the number of days does not cut evenly into a year. Right. So we have to fake it, and we say our year is over even before we've completed a full trip around the sun. Right. Okay. And so, but when we've backed up by a day, then we throw in an extra day to line things up again. And that's the, that happened, that happened this year, every four years. Yeah. On on 2020, uh, uh, Chuck, I'm glad you can still divide by four. (laughs) (laughs) All the numbers in 2020 are divisible by four. There you go. (laughs) So, so here is my issue. Okay. You ready? Go ahead. Are you seated? I'm, I am. Are you listening? I am indeed. Let's let's stick with the lingo. Okay. okay. Chuck, what is the longest day of the year? Uh, June 20-something. Yeah, it's the first day of summer. Right, right. Longest day of the year. Everybody well, knows this. Well, yeah, that's what people okay. say. Right. Chuck, if the first day of summer is the longest day of the year. Right then every day in summer has to be getting shorter. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. See, see you know, so I'm saying this. No, like, no, 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 let me just say this. No, 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 no. What? This is why people don't want to go to the movies with you, man. I'm just, Chuck, so people it's, say days get longer than summer. No, they don't. <laughs> they get shorter. They okay. do. I. Oh, that's messed up. <laughs> okay, let's let's finish it. Let's finish. Let, let's ahead, finish it. Okay. What is the shortest day of the year? It's the the winter, uh, December twenty something. Yeah. December twenty first, the winter solstice. Right. If that's the shortest day of the year, then every day after that is longer. And so that's days messed- get longer in the winter and shorter in the summer. Well, there you go, people. Uh, uh, Neil did deGrasse, this, did this take- once Wait. again, he has ruined something <laughs> no, that, that you take- all thought were true. You all thought that summer was the time when the days got longer. Not so. And by the way, what you just said is is so simple. It is almost elegant. Uh, what I mean, I'm saying it's is, just I did, did so this re- simple. Did this require a grant from the National Science Foundation to demonstrate? The same people who say days get longer in the summer are to tell you that the longest day of the year is the first day of summer. That's These right. are two logically inconsistent sentences. They certainly are. They, you know, and I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you the truth. I never even considered it because you know what? Summer is just so much fun that you don't want to think of the days getting shorter. <laughs> you don't want to. But and you're right. While while we're there. Let me just just go in for the kill here. Uh oh, okay. here we go. No, no, I'm, I'm not violent. Let me go in for the, for the um, exclamation the, point. The excla- <laughs> Since let, you don't want to kill anybody, let, let, let me <laughs> let me exclamation point this. Right. Okay. I always thought it was odd that daylight saving time, right, which takes an hour of sunlight from the morning, mm-hmm. to put it at the end of the day. Right. It's giving you an extra hour of daylight when you least need it. Okay, in New York City, in June, the sun sets at 8 freaking 30. Okay, and twilight is long. It goes another hour. Hour, that's right. You know, you don't need, do you need, a, when do you need the daylight saving hour? Yeah, you kind of would want it at the end of the day. Well, no, excuse me. What time of year do you need extra sunlight at the end? Oh, of the I day? want it in the winter time. Thank you. Yeah, when the days are sh- yeah short. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, you're so, right. So, so, so to me, the whole concept of daylight saving time was backwards. It Just is. Just growing up, I was trying to come to terms with the world that I was ab- absorbing as I was coming of age as a, as a as a child scientist. But and, see, farmers start their day much earlier than everybody so maybe it's maybe it was to give them the extra hour so that well, well the, d- d- excuse me excuse me wait, wait excuse me yeah does the farmer really care what time it is 
No. Which when does the sun rise and sunset and what are the yeah. crops doing? I, I, I heard someone I heard someone say I don't like I, I don't like daylight saving time because the the crops need that extra hour in the morning. I heard somebody say that, and I said, crops don't crops keep track of your keep track time. Of time. <laughs> <laughs> like they the, don't care what, what time you say it is when the sun rises or sets. That's, that's funny. It's not like you're gonna walk out to the field and the corn is gonna be like, "Yo, man, you late." That's <laughs> 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 yeah, scarecrow told us what time it was. Exactly. Right. <laughs> you have a corn stalk looking at its exactly. wrist. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, oh. speaking of corn, I just I got to throw this in here. I didn't realize this until like I was a grown up. Do you know how many ears of corn grow on a single corn stalk? I I thought it was one. One. Is that's, it? That's yeah, crazy. I thought it was that, one. That is crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, that's insane. That's because insane. Maybe that's why all of Iowa is a cornfield. <laughs> Because you got to cram that stuff. Because you can't plant them this close to each other. Because right. I'm thinking. You're only getting one corn out of I, all of that field. Oh, every time lot. I eat a corn stalk, I'm saying an entire plant gave its life for me <laughs> to chow down on this on one this corn one? stalk. Yeah. I'm on, on the corn cob. Right. And I, I felt bad when I learned that. There's a city kid learning about country stuff late. Yeah, you well, know. guess what? I uh, To me, that makes corn that much more delicious. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Occasionally, you can get more, but I think it's rare. It's okay. it, you Basically, it's a one corn stalk thing. But anyhow, so so there you have it. Uh, wow. It's, I just, oh, and by the way, there's a big difference between the duration of the day in the summer and in the winter. So uh, in New York City, we're at 40 degrees north latitude. This would be true also for 40 degrees south. Mm -hmm. And it's not very different as you go up or down a few degrees. Los mm -hmm. Angeles is 30 degrees north. Um, Santiago, Chile is 30 degrees south. You know, most of civilization has found itself into these bands right. um, in north and south of the equator. So uh, we can get 16 hours of daylight mm -hmm. in the summertime. And the inverse of that, we get about eight hours or less of daylight in the winter. When wow. I say inverse, it's 16 hours a day, eight hours a night, 16 hours a night, eight, eight hours, hours a day. A day. So right. it's all sort of symmetric that way. Then I got another one for you. Go okay. Ahead. If we have summer going into winter from June to December. Right. And the Southern Hemisphere is opposite. So when we have our longest days, they have their shortest days. All right. There's the two days of the year where we all meet because we're crossing with two ships crossing in the night. Okay. Right. If we have longer days than you do, and later that, on you have longer days than we do, at some point everything equals out. Right. And you take a get, just guess when that is. I'm going to say the solstice. No. No? No. So there's two days when everything equals out. Equinox. Well, nah. Equinox. <laughs> That's why it's called the and, equinox. And yeah. nox means night, so equi night. So, uh, so on the equinoxes, the daylight equals the night. night equinox. The night Everybody the gets twelve hours a day, twelve hours a night. But that's in both places because we're crossing. Right. Gotcha. Okay. All right. They're going from winter to summer. We're going from summer to winter, and there's a point where everybody has to cross. That's and so that's cool. when the the whole world. Has twelve hours of sunlight and twelve, and 12 hours, of hours of daylight. Oh, I yeah. love that. That's 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 pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I, I love me the Earth. Earth is a good good thing. So Chuck. Okay. So so there you have it. I, and again, I didn't mean to spoil your understanding of the known universe. No, it's not about that. It's you. Just, you were upset halfway in this. You, because you, you, because you because you're supposed to enjoy the longer lazy days of summer. And now we have to enjoy the frantic shorter days of summer because they are each day is less and less of the Maybe best time of the year. Instead, you will cherish those few extra moments of light you had today relative to tomorrow. Hmm. During you the don't summer. know me very well. See, that's not happening. <laughs> I'm too damn I'm too I'm too anxiety written for that. That's not how you roll, huh? No, okay. you just no, nah, I get it though. That's um it's it's 
it's certainly not as much fun to think about having longer days. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. winter. Now it depends. If you're a person who likes winter, then this this is it works. Right, I got I got one for you. Okay. Go ahead. Here, here here. Let me resolve this for you. Okay. okay? All right. So that you you will sleep well at night. All right. Uh, think about it. If the first day of summer is the longest day of the year, and mm -hmm. summer is a, you know, so wouldn't it have made more sense to have called that day the middle of the summer? As, yeah, so that true. the longest day, you get the days get longer going up to the longest day of the summer, and then they get shorter, but that becomes the midpoint of the season. Right. That's true. Would, would that, that make you? Would Would you feel better about that? You know what? I am. I do. I already do feel better because Good. now. It's, oh, okay. It's because now it's not all downhill. <laughs> Good. See? It's, it's, exactly. Exactly. See? So now, now it's not all downhill. That has already been done. How so? In most of the world, what we in America call the first day of summer. Uh, let's take England for example. You know what they call it? They don't call it the first day of summer. No. They call it midsummer. Ah, as I gotcha. And this is where Shakespeare gets the name. As in Midsummer, Midsummer Night's, Night's Dream. Midsummer Night's Dream. Uh -huh. What day of the year does that take place on? June 21st. There you go. Midsummer. I gotcha. I like that. <clears throat> will you sleep well at night? I will now and- <clears throat> H Henceforth, ye. <laughs> Shall you? <laughs> 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 will, will, will you take these summer days and nights? I shall indeed. <laughs> <laughs> and together we exult. Verily I say, verily. <laughs> verily I, say. I wager that ye shall. <laughs> Uh, all right, that's cool. Midsummer. Now I'm good. I'm You're good. good. And yeah. it is I, your <laughs> science bard, right? Bidding ye and thee and all thou thine <laughs> to keep looking up. <laughs>